Hey everyone, I'm Sergeant First Class Hank Gray with the U.S. Army Marksmanship Unit. I'm the Team Chief for the International Rifle Team, and today I'm going to give you a little virtual tour of our facility. Let's go see what we have inside in our office here. So, this is our uh, main office facility. We really don't spend too much time in here, but um, this is kind of where we get our admin stuff during the day, uh, you know, here and there, but most of the time's out on the range. But if you take a quick look around, we've got a little kitchen over there. Most of our guys actually like to eat, uh, bring their own lunch um, and do that. And it's a little bit quicker, spend a little more time on the range. But there are a couple things I'd like to point out in here to you specifically. First of all, we'll start over here in this corner. We've got uh, our little tribute to uh, Lieutenant Colonel Lones Wigger. Uh, he's got 13 world records up there that he set during his time as a, as a competitive shooter. And he's a, he's a legend here at the AMU and within USA Shooting. So we've got a little tribute to him. Then across the way on the other side of the office, actually, we'll go that way. And uh, we've got another one here to Captain Ernie Vandy Zandy. Uh, another great shooter over the years with the AMU and fantastic coach uh, through on. And this here actually is a, is a 400 with 40X um, at 100 yards, if you're familiar with some of the NRA style shooting. is a fantastic shooting with a small bore rifle. We've got our Mexico 1968 sign, uh, signed by all the um, all the Olympic team members from that games. Uh, one of which was uh, uh, Jack Ryder, who's still with the AMU. He won silver in '68 and gold in 1972 while he's with the AMU, and he still works down the loading room here today. All right, and then here in the uh, kind of coach office, we've also got uh, Master Sergeant Bill Krilling. You saw his, you know, Krilling Range named after him. He was one of the coaches here at International Rifle for a very long time, and this was the first ever 3200 shot um, in NRA competition. Uh, another tribute to him as well. It's a pretty cool thing to have for sure. All right, and this here is a picture, a classic picture that we really like. So we have here what we call the Fearsome Foursome. We've got Margaret Murdoch, Lanny Basham, uh, Lone Zwigger and Jack Ryder. Um, obviously they won over the Soviets, but the thing we really like in the picture is that nobody on the podium there, even though we got gold and silver, none of them were smiling at all. Wig maybe has just a little bit of a smirk for winning. <laughs> and lastly, last thing I want to show you all is our countdown clock. Uh, we use this all the time for all of our various matches. Um, primary, obviously we're focused on the Olympic Games here, so hence we have it set up for the next Olympic trials that were uh, that were postponed here recently. Um, looking like they're going to be in October, and so uh, that's our countdown. Just as a kind of friendly reminder, you come in every day, uh, what your next match is, and how much time you have to prepare. All right, here we are on the range. Uh, welcome to the Pool International Shooting Complex, is named after Lieutenant Colonel Tommy Pool. He was a three-time uh, medalist at the 1962 World Championships and won the bronze medal at the 1964 Olympics. And that's why our whole facility is named after him. First, we're gonna start out though, I'm gonna show you our finals hall. All right, welcome to the finals hall. Uh, for our competitions, the top eight competitors in the qualification round uh, make it to the final. Uh, and then we, when we're having competitions here at Fort Benning, we then move over here to the finals hall where the scores go back to zero. Um, depending if it's air rifle, like these guys are shooting today, they shoot another 24 shots. If it's small bore, they shoot 45 more shots. Uh, and determine the winner from that. We make eliminations all along the way so that the final two left shooting are shooting off for the gold and silver medals when they're all said and done. Before we go inside, I want to show you all one thing here with our uh, range flag, actually. So that's something that you do here at Fort Benning. Uh, when the range is hot, you've got to have a red flag showing uh, to, to signify that there's shooting going on for any passersby, anybody knowing so that, uh, that there's firearms in use. So I just want to make sure and show that to everyone in case you ever wondered what it's all about. Okay, welcome to the 50 meter range. Let's go in this way here. And today we're all training down on the end, but for those of you who haven't been here, we have uh, basically 76 firing points here at the 50 meter range. Uh, all it's an outdoor range, even though we shoot undercover. Um, and we'll go down here, we'll see where our shooter's at and kind of show you what the range looks like. All right, let's go ahead and meet the team now. Hello, I'm Eric Uptograph, Sergeant First Class, United States Army Marksmanship Unit. I'm the International Rifle Assistant Team Chief from Spokane, Washington. Sergeant First Class Michael Fail from Columbus, Georgia, and I've been in the unit for 15 years. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Sarah Beard. I'm from Danville, Indiana, and I've been on the Army Marksmanship Unit for about two years. Hi, I'm Staff Sergeant Kevin Nguyen. I'm from Westminster, California, and I've been with the Ar United States Army Marksmanship Unit for six years. Hello, my name is Specialist Ivan Rowe. I'm from Manhattan, Montana, and I've been with the unit since November. 
Hi, my name is Specialist Jared DeRochers. I'm from Swansea, Massachusetts, and I've been on the unit for about two and a half years. Hi, I'm Sergeant Brandon Muskie. I'm from Burnham, Texas, and I've been with the International Rifle Team for three years. Hey everyone, I'm Sergeant Patrick Sunderman. I'm from Farmington, Minnesota, and I've been on the unit, part of the International Rifle Team, for about four years now. Hi there, this is Specialist Sajan Madalena. I am uh, from Groveland, California. Been with the unit for just under a year now. Hi, I'm Specialist Timothy Sherry from Evergreen, Colorado. I've been with the Army Marksmanship Unit for three years. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys the pits, something you may never have seen, the pits where the targets actually are in the 50 meter range. So we'll go out this door down here in the corner and uh, we'll go from there. It's kind of an interesting trek down this uh, long skinny hallway. Uh, half of our targets are below ground. Um, so we open up a garage door, raise them up, and then the other half are above ground, so we have to set them out whenever we're holding big matches and things here as well. All right, here we are. Come on around the corner here, and you can see the pits. I'll kind of show you how one of the targets works. So, like I said, they're all down below ground, keeps them kind of protected and out of the weather. Uh, when we come down, we got to open the garage door, and then basically you just turn the target on and raise it up. Turn it off, and it is ready to go. We just have to do it 45 more times. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna move on to the indoor range. But this is our first chance to introduce everybody to our new steps from the little end of the range. Uh, no longer do you have to go all the way around or kind of risk your danger by jumping off the wall. We have stairs now. All right, welcome to the indoor range. Let's go take a look. All right, let's go in the right side of the range here and I'll show you uh, the air gun target. Now, if you've been here before, you know we have a matching left side as well. We've got 72 air rifle and air pistol targets uh, for hosting 10 meter competitions, which is the other of our Olympic events. 10 meters, all standing, uh, free hand with iron sights, uh, shooting at this small target here, where if you've seen us, you know, you, the, the bullseye on that target is the size of a period at the end of a cent. That's what we're trying to hit every time. And we score to the 10th of a point. So perfect shot is 10.9, and it goes 10.8, 10.7, all the way down to zero eventually. But um, uh, we try to keep them, you know, you need to hit probably at least 57 plus 10s um, out of your 60 shots and they need to be about 10, 4, 10, 5s kind of on average to qualify for the final, especially in the world. And then also if you look way down range down there, we've got some 50 meter targets. So that allows us to shoot, we can shoot lengthwise through the range here um, during inclement weather when it's super hot out in the summertime, when it's cold in the winter, rain, whatever. Um, if you need to just get some extra time you can come down here and shoot uh, without having to be outside in the elements all the time. All right, one thing I wanted to show you all is how our targets actually work. So the air rifle targets that we have in here are now the, the newest and latest and greatest where they actually have a laser array um, in there just behind this little face. So when you shoot a shot, pellet passes through the target, the lasers see where the pellet goes through, and then it just sends a signal back to the monitor to show where you actually hit on the target. So there's actually really no actual paper involved anymore. We're not putting holes in paper anymore. Um, there is kind of a witness strip behind there just to confirm that you actually shot so that uh, if there's any sort of alibi or something. Uh, but other than that, the lights actually score the targets. One more key component in our indoor range is our test facility, our test rig actually. So right here we have our cradle. Um, and this is where we can shoot both uh, small bore rifles and our air rifles um, to test them. Uh, ammo accuracy is an absolutely key component of, of our sport. Uh, you're actually looking for that, you know, the smallest possible groups you can shoot uh, and try and have the gun. That's the one thing, especially with a small bore rifle, it's really hard to make them shoot really good. And uh, once you find that, that perfect rifle, you want to hang on to it for life because it really, really helps you out um, in this competition because across the world, it's so competitive. So this is our test cradle. It gets lots of use. We put a lot of bullets downrange through here uh, as we're trying to refine our game. And uh, yeah, shout out to our customs firearm shop for everything that they do to kind of make that possible and, and put together the best guns that we can, we can work with. Okay, well, that's a wrap for today. Hope you all enjoyed uh, the little tour of our facility and getting to see some of the behind the scenes stuff that goes on. Uh, make sure you stay tuned this Friday for our live Q&A. should be about uh, 1400 Eastern time, uh, but we'll put out some stuff. So uh, keep up on our social media and then you'll know exactly when we're doing it. Uh, and send in your questions ahead of time and uh, be ready for that so we can go ahead and have a good time.